Good morning. It is day five of a week on Sainsbury's Basics. Thankfully, I don't feel too bad this morning, so... Tackle the day and... Yip, yip, yip. What? Someone's being loud. Aren't they this morning? Hmm? Aren't they? Someone's trying to ruin my shot. Yes. So I definitely did want to include some Sainsbury's Basic cereal. And I'm definitely going to do that with uh, with these cornflakes, which are a great breakfast, but there's no fancy packaging. I mean, yeah, I suppose they've got that right. Still, it's on brand. And this was 55p. 55p, that's so cheap. For a massive box of cereal. Crazy, 500 grams. And um, the, the thing is, though, that they don't do Sainsbury's Basics milk like they do with other value brands in supermarkets. They always have a milk. So unfortunately I've had to cheat. But I thought it was fair because with the other two branded, uh, cheap branded supermarket ranges that I've done, they they both didn't have bread. So I, I had the next best thing. So it's only fair if I do that with this. So this is kind of just their generic, no fancy, no frills milk. And this was 80p. So I'm going to make some cereal. And uh, hopefully I don't get shouted at by you guys in the comments. Right, I love my sexy cereal pouring in these uh, Lecons. Oh, no, not too much spillage this time, that's good. Okay, let's, uh, let's try it. There's a, there's a slightly burnt one there, let's avoid the slightly burnt one. Yeah. Hmm. What are you? Are you... Oh, you're an air bubble, thank God. It looked like semen. So, exactly what I'd expect from cheap cornflakes. Slightly stale, but they taste like cornflakes. So, the texture's a little off-putting, but it's 55p. It's, it's okay. It's all right, I suppose. I haven't actually done very much vlogging today. Been busy working. Um, my cold seems to be lingering, but it's, it's all good. Not going to worry about that too much, and um, and it's approaching lunchtime, so I'm just I'm just going to show you my lunch. I've got to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous about this. I mean, it it looks like any old sandwich, doesn't it? Except inside is peanut butter and jam, or or jelly, if you want to be that way. There there is literally no fruit in this jam, so it, it, I guess the Americans would technically call that jelly wouldn't they? 40p for the jar of jam and 70p for the jar of peanut butter. And yes, I am about to pop my PB&J cherry. Fucking awful. <laughs> Thankfully the peanut butter is the, the dominant flavour. It's just dry. Who decided peanut butter was a good sandwich filling to begin with? It's so dry. At least this one is. Mm. Not a fan. I know it's a very, very popular American flavour or filling for a sandwich. Not for me. Salty and sweet fruit. Not, not, not good bedfellows. Not for my British palate, anyway. My, my very high-class British palate. <laughs> Don't like it. Just watching a bit of YouTube, thinking about my lunch, still thinking about how I don't like it, and um, and just just thinking about dinner, to be honest, because that was a completely unsatisfying lunch. Again, I don't have any kind of stuff um, as a snack today. I'm going to have something tonight, though. Um, I do have this. It's a nasal sniffy thing for my nose. It's not Sainsbury's Basics, but I, just, I need it. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just going to finish up what I'm doing and then, and then go get some food. Cause I want some nice food. Right, I want you to guess what tonight's dinner is before I actually reveal it based on the ingredients. So, it doesn't say basics, but I am assured that they are Green Grocer's 
value selection onion. That's a lot of onions. Uh, and that was 70 pence. And then we have, ooh, garlic. Sainsbury's Basics Garlic. I'm surprised it doesn't say less garlicky. All shapes and sizes. Fairly standard, to be honest. And this was 35p. Lovely. Oh, look at this. Sack of Basics 25% fat. Beef and pork mince. That's, that's a lot of fat. A blend of beef and pork. Perfect for meat. How are you making meatballs out of frozen mince? Anyway, that was £3.60. We also have Sainsbury's Basic Chopped Tomatoes in Tomato Juice. A little bit of peel. A whole lot of taste. Since when was it a selling point that there's peel in chopped tomatoes? Never. Never ever. 30p though, so you really can't argue with that. And I think you'll probably guess what we're making when I show you. Sainsbury's Basic Spaghetti. A little less golden. What a stu... Come on. Why are you promoting things to have less of something as a selling point? 20 pence. And then also, of course, garlic bread. We had those the other day. 95 pence. We're not going to be as greedy today because we've got all of this. So we're only going to have the one. So yes, we are obviously making spaghetti bolognese for dinner. We seem to have it in every single week on we do. It's a good job we like it, and you'll probably say it's not how Mamma Mia makes it, but it's how you make it with Sainsbury's Basics. First up is some garlic and onion. Next up, a undecided amount of mince. Now I'm hungry, so give me some of that 25% fat. Just like little pink worms. In goes the pasta. The, uh, the mince seems to have mushed up, strangely. It has, like, halved in size. Very odd. We'll see how it goes. Finally, the tomatoes are in. Hopefully, that's going to look a bit more appealing shortly. Because currently... Currently, I don't know. Well, it looks a, a little bit better. It smells all right. It smells lovely, but the mince is very The mincy. mince is very mincy, but the pasta is done as well, so if you wouldn't mind doing the honours. Mm -hmm. It's also uh, evaporated most of the tomato sauce. That enough? Uh, yeah, I, th I would say that's enough. It looks good. We'll see. So there we go. Two plates of spaghetti bolognese. And Grace opened that a little prematurely so I couldn't Fair. show the label, but it's hard cheese. Italian hard cheese made with Italian cow's milk, perfect for grating. Which is good because we have something to grate with. It's very stinky. A grater. Yeah, maybe not too much if it's super cheesy. God. Super, super stinky cheese. But that was £2.30 for that hard cheese. Say when. When? Thank okay. you. So, um, this is looking alright. I've got to say, but we'll see. And when they say hard cheese, they mean parmesan, yeah? Uh, yeah, it's basically parmesan. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. Whoa. It's very garlicky. That is foot cheesy. You reckon? Mm. It's actually, delicious, it is, yeah. actually, but the texture, unfortunately, isn't quite right just because the mince is very mincy. It's mealy. Yeah. Very mealy. But it tastes delicious. It does. And that cheese is very kind of foot cheesy, but all right. I like it. Mm, it's just it's a shame about, shame about the mince, isn't it? Very mealy. Oops, nearly forgot about the garlic bread. Definitely can't forget about that. Not to toot my own horn or anything. That was really nice. What did you think? Yeah, it was delicious. It really was. Tasty. Yeah, with the, uh, the garlic bread. Yeah. Yeah. The, the mince texture was, yeah, mealy. But it still tasted all right. Nice and beefy, and I suppose porky. But um, I feel like, I feel a bit parched. So I think it's time for, um, it's time for a drink. I'm not sure this drink's really gonna quench my thirst. Sainsbury's Basics, vodka. You're not having any, are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> Versatile vodka. 
great shaken or stirred. They need to get Sony on the phone because that must break some kind of copyright law. <laughs> get bombed on the phone. So yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna try some Sainsbury's Basics vodka in my in my house dark short glass. So do you think they're trying to insinuate that um, Bond? Drinks Sainsbury's Basic Yes, that is exactly. They are shooting a new movie right now. Oh, sponsored by Sainsbury's Basic. Yeah, if he isn't chugging basic vodka, £10.50 for a bottle of this. Nice. And it, it was some kind of certified thing on there. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have a shot of this and hopefully I can see at the end. Well, not much of a smell to it, to be honest. Oh, I thought it stank. What proof is it actually? 37.5. Is that a lot? It's about the standard for vodka. Oh, there is a bit more of a smell to it. Are you going to just down it? Well, yeah. Go on then. I haven't done a shot. <laughs> I was going to say. I haven't, no, I'm not a student anymore. If I'm sick. I'm not cleaning it I'm up. I'm not cleaning it up. Ugh. I'm not a drinker at all. I don't like, I don't like this sort of stuff. It's not bad. I couldn't tell you if it's a good vodka or not. I can smell it. It tastes it tastes alright. It's fine. What's it? What are you watching? Are you watching the birds? Yeah, Basil's currently watching his favourite show on TV. You're gonna get square eyes. Oh, well, that was day five of a week on Sainsbury's Basics. Interesting day. Cornflakes with not basics milk for breakfast. A disgusting PB and J. Don't get the appeal. Is it because you're fed it as children in America? Don't know. British people in the comments, do you like peanut butter and jam slash jelly? Got a feeling not many people will. And my spag bowl, my Sainsbury's basic spag bowl for dinner with garlic bread. One of the better meals I've had on one of these value weeks. I'm, I'm a good chef. I'm, I'd get slated for my cooking. I might have had a couple of more extra vodkas because it isn't bad. <laughs> £21.35 pence was my total for the day. It's it's expensive, but that's because £10.50 of that was the vodka. You're not going to buy vodka every week. I mean, you might. You probably won't want to buy that vodka every week anyway. But it was all right. It was all right. It's all good. So that that was that was day five. Thanks very much for tuning in. If you want to support the show on Patreon, you can do. It helps me to buy cheap vodka. You're enabling me. Or you could or you could subscribe. My book, Viral, is available. It's currently 26% off. Links in the description. Along with my social medias. I post things to them like ramblings. I ramble. I'm going to be sick. See you on day six. <laughs>